All right, guys, welcome back to J&J Prospecting. I'm going to teach you guys how to make nitric acid for cleaning your gold. A uh, couple household items you can purchase at a hardware store. Um, I'm using muriatic acid, which is hydrochloric. Any Lowe's, Home Depot, your little mom and pop's hardware stores. And then you're going to need potassium nitrate, which I prefer to use as spectricide stump remover. Once again, hardware store. Um, read the label, make sure what you're buying, because some of them do have different ingredients. That's why I like the spectricide. I know it's potassium nitrate. Also, you're going to end up needing distilled water. If you want to use clean water, your city waters, they tend to have too much chlorine in them and other acids. Chlorine is similar to hydrochloric, but a lot more diluted. Also, you're going to want two glass vials. Do not use plastic or metal. Plastic, under some conditions, can melt. Metal, especially steels, your neuratic hydrochloric acid will actually end up eating away at it. Also, they can produce harmful fumes. Um, then you're gonna need a piece of copper. I just got a little, little spool here that I cut off of a piece of wire. What you're gonna do first, you're gonna take some of your distilled water, you're going to pour it into what's called a thumper. We're going to fill it right around half, three quarters. Move this forward here so you can see it a little better and maybe a little more level on the table. Probably should have cleaned the table before I did this. Okay. Now, Yes, any science experiment, you should measure what you're putting in. I, I do it like I cook. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Go ahead and add some more of your distilled water in here. About right there. It's probably a little over a quarter, maybe a third of that. And you're going to go ahead and put your potassium nitrate in there. I like to get it good and cloudy. just a little bit of sediment on the bottom. And you're going to take it, swash it around. If you want that to dissolve into that water. Now this is not, doing it this way is not a quick process. You will have to wait. But the wait's well worth it. I mean, it is a diluted nitric acid, but it's still enough to clean your gold. And then you're going to go ahead and put the difference in your hydrochloric acid. Make sure not to exceed the top because it's going to bubble, which I think I may have put just a tad bit too much in. We'll see. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert my copper. I'm going to put my cap in and I'm going to stick that down inside of the, the thumper. And I call it a thumper because you can use this in distillation as well, this same style setup. What it's going to do is it's going to create a gas over here, which is your nitrogen dioxide. It's going to come over here, and when it breaks down with the water, it creates nitric acid. And like I said, this is kind of a lengthy procedure, so it's going to take some time. I'm going to end up speeding the video up. That way you're not watching three hours of just this sitting here doing nothing. Okay, like I said, this is a long process. You can see over here, our mixture has changed colors. The yellowing that's in there is actually copper sulfate. And if you watch, you might actually get to see a bubble which is starting to form over here in this vial. And that bubble is actually carrying the nitrogen dioxide. The nitrogen dioxide, then in turn, mixed with the water, turns into your nitric acid. So all this water in this vial is going to be a diluted nitric acid. Now it is going to take a little while and as I should have mentioned earlier I don't do it but I recommend you do wear gloves because muriatic acid can burn the skin, irritate the skin, 
eye protection is ideal as well because trust me you don't want to get that in your eyes I've heard stories about plumbers that have gotten it in their eyes and it, it's just nasty so keep in mind you are dealing with chemicals you are producing hazardous vapor be safe I'm making this video more so as educational versus telling you hey make nitric acid to clean your gold I mean you can do it at home but I also don't want to see anybody you know emailing us saying hey you didn't tell me to wear safety glasses I just burned my eyeballs I'm blind I can't find gold anymore you know be responsible with it I mean, that, that's all I ask this is an educational video um, a lot of the stuff that you're gonna end up finding for prospecting as far as chemicals a lot of it you can do at home um, you can liquefy gold with aqua regina which is nitric acid and hydrochloric mixed together um, you can also turn around and make yourself uh, to the cyanide sodium cyanide I believe it is um, do not really recommend it um, cyanide was actually one of the chemicals used in Zyklon B during World War II in the gas chambers. Um, I, I don't recommend it, but you could dilute gold in that and create liquid gold, which you would then have to take and process back to a solid using an oxidizer. Um, but that's one way to also separate gold from an ore, um, which later I, I, I may show you guys a video, I, I may go ahead and show you a video of making cyanide and or making the sodium cyanide and dissolving some more. Um, biggest thing is safety, that comes first no matter what you're doing, especially in mining. I don't care if you're just using a shovel and a sluice. A shovel in a pan you always want to be safe but you see that's getting a lot more volatile over there it's creating more bubbles in our thumper now for the most part the vapor coming out of the thumper is harmless it does still carry some chemical not a lot um, what that's doing is, is the water molecules are actually catching the nitrogen dioxide, creating your nitric acid. So, but I'm going to cut the video here. We'll come back to it here in a little bit. Maybe our uh, mixture will be bubbling a lot more and creating rapid bubbles in our thumper. We'll have to see, it. the process depends. Temperature, mixture, all plays a factor in it. Okay, guys, I'm sorry you guys missed the majority of the reaction. It is still going on though. If you notice, this one is a dark, dark green. That is copper sulfate. This one here is blue, and as you can see, it is still bubbling, which means that it's still going on, but it's not as volatile. Nitric acid is a bluish green clear hue. Now, all that vapor that's going into this vial over here is actually getting trapped here and forced through the tube. Now, if you look at the tube, unfortunately, some of it's condensated, which is not good because that means that you've got copper sulfate going over. You don't want copper sulfate in it. It's really not going to affect the gold, but it affects the purity of your nitric acid. But as you guys can see, the setup's working. 
let's see here if I can get a little bit better picture on this one. Let me put it towards the sun. I don't know if you guys can really see the bubbles that are coming up in that. I mean, I, I can barely see my screen. But that is how you make nitric acid. And if you guys really want to, you could distill it to make it a higher percentage. You could also redo the exact same process several times, which would increase the amount of nitric acid in your final product in the thumper. But if anybody has any questions, feel free to email us, Facebook message us, Google Plus. I mean, we're here to help you guys, help you learn. Any questions we can answer, we're more than willing to. So just message us.